a Volkswagen pulls over to park on a residential street in Tabor. Emerging from it are Emily West in Brown, a midwifery student on a three-month placement with midwife Stacy Pileski in Blue. Hello. They are making a home postpartum visit with Eva Bergen, whose son Kingston was born a week earlier in this very same home. Stacy and Emily were at the birth to catch the baby. Yeah, so we, we catch the baby. Um, we don't say that we deliver babies because it's the mom that's delivering the baby, not us. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take him over just into the light here. Yep. Eva is a mother of four. This is the first time she has used a midwife. I loved it. Every single um, minute of it was worth it to have them there. It was just amazing. It was the best experience ever. Emily is currently in year three of the four-year Bachelor of Midwifery program at Mount Royal University in Calgary. It's the only midwifery program offered in Alberta. Emily's mom is also a midwife. I think I'm gonna get an immense amount of joy from practicing. I just love when my babies are like dressed up all yeah, cute. And stuff. Yeah. A few years ago, expecting moms in Tabor who wanted to see a midwife had to drive an hour away to Brooks. Stacy used to practice in Brooks, but she moved her practice to Tabor a few years ago. Before becoming a midwife, she was a registered nurse at the Tabor Health Center. That's where she first discovered her passion for labor and delivery. I really loved it. People would come in and labor, and I always volunteered to be the nurse. Eventually, though, she found herself longing for a deeper connection with the expecting moms. I would meet people for the very first time when they were eight centimeters sometimes and about to have a baby. And you have 20 minutes to build a rapport. Or you've been with someone all day and then your shift ends and you may or may not be there for the delivery. After spending time with midwives in Cardston, she discovered that midwifery was her true calling. So this is so great. I have such a good relationship with our clients. I like that I've built up, you know, that whole uh, 10 months of a relationship with our families. We know a lot about them. I know what their hopes are for their birth, all of that. 11 pounds, yeah. holy moly. Midwives in Alberta are independent practitioners. <laughs> oh my goodness. Instead of seeing a doctor throughout their pregnancy, expecting moms can choose to see a midwife instead. Midwives can order medications, lab work, ultrasounds, and pretty much anything else mom needs. If complications occur, then the midwife consults with an obstetrician or the family physician. We do low risk healthy is kind of the catchment for what our scope would be. So you've got head down and then back. Kind of okay, so he's back there now. Yeah, yeah. Our responsibility is to give clients all the information, the benefits, the risks of every decision they make. They're an active participant in making decisions and we really empower them that this is their experience and we're there to keep them safe. I chose a midwife because I find it's a lot more personal care just more attention to detail. They've been really quick to communicate with me on all my needs. Another benefit is the freedom to choose how and where one delivers. Many are choosing a water birth in their own home. There's some benefits to mom that there's a lower likelihood of having severe tearing. Being submerged all the way in the water is very relieving for the labor pains that moms have. That's a big one, That why moms choose that. It's also a really smooth transition for baby. It's a really gentle transition into the outside world. Those babies don't always arrive Monday to Friday between nine and five. So does Stacy have to work the odd weekend? Uh, many, many, <laughs> and nights, <laughs> lots of nights. <laughs> awesome. About 60% of Stacy's captures are in the home with the other 40% at the hospital. So far, none have had to occur between home and hospital, but one gets the feeling that it's only a matter of time. We've had some almost. We've had some very close car deliveries where they're just about to deliver in the car, but for me personally, we've made it to wherever we need to go. Um, I've had some almost delivered in the lobby of hospitals. In my nursing days, we'd had babies born in elevators because they didn't make it. Is he due to feed at all? Or? Um, I think 